Spending time in a camper van, you'll quickly realize you need more storage everywhere. So I took advantage of this space behind the wheel well next to the bed and built this storage box with a bungee net to cover the front to keep items in. Scribing the back to fit the actual location to match the interior panels, it fit almost perfectly. Here it is with the mattress installed. Plenty of access and still have room for my makeshift wash tub and sink. More on that in a minute. I've got milk crates under the bed for storing food, clothing, more in the back for storing tools, the awning, and other items. Always carry a tire repair kit. These milk crates can be removed and these tops I made for either a kitchen table top or a bench. I know what you're thinking. This is disgusting. We have a toilet that parks there, a Thetford curve. This is the Thetford 135. I plan on removing the seat because it'll never be used as a toilet. This is where the fresh water goes. This is the dump valve into the storage section, the bottom section. And this is how you empty it. There's a template provided, so I cut out a base plate for it. It pops right in and locks it in place, but I still strap it down. Here's how I made the faucet. This is a Fernco fitting available at your home or hardware store. This is a two inch Fernco fitting. I just remove the clamps and this is a USB charged faucet available on Amazon in many different configurations but this particular one folds down for storage and fits right inside that two inch rubber fitting. Then what I'll do is remove the filler cap where the water supply is and lower this feeder tube into the water into the deepest part in the back corner there and then it pops right on to the Thetford opening and boom you have an electrified portable rechargeable sink faucet using the water supply in the top tank you can wash dishes brush your teeth and it lasts for 10 seconds or you can turn it off quicker than that. So these two portions detach and you have your what I'm calling a gray tank on the bottom easily emptyable into any pit toilet, public toilet or really a sink drain because this is just wash water and normal sink use. And when you're done with it this removes you can coil up that feed hose store it in your sink and put the lid back on. Don't forget the cap. You don't want the water to slosh out while you're driving. Now normally this is how this would flush. It sprays around the bowl so if you want to clean the bowl out you can use the installed pump to do so. And here's how it works on my portable milk crate table. Thanks for watching. Give us a like and subscribe. Catch you in the next one.